So today we're going to have a look at the features of Microsoft Publisher. Now it's very different from Word, although it initially looks the same. So you get this big space here, which looks like a page in Word. However, this isn't something that you type into like a Word document. Instead, what we're doing is we're laying out our text. So that means we can put it in all sorts of different locations and there's not this idea of text just running through. And you can see over here, it stores it as separate pages, almost like a PowerPoint slide. Now, the first thing is, when you first come in, you're going to be in this view here. And if you press the F9 key right at the top of your keyboard, then what will happen is it will zoom in to a view where you can see it at normal size and you press F9 again you can zoom out. What this does is it means that you can see the whole of your document really really easily and you can also zoom into the detail just at the touch of a button like that. Right, let's actually put something in. So I said we can't just type on this. Just like in Word though we can draw a text box. So I'm going to draw a text box here, just like that. And I'm going to paste in some text, which I put earlier. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And just like in Word, what we can do is we can set the size of this. So it gets bigger like that, and we can change our font. So let's have it in a nice font. How about this one. We can also do all sorts of things like we can change the text direction like this or we can change how it fits into the box so we can say grow text to fit the box or best fit and it will change the text size depending on how big the box is. Very very useful. You can also do other things like you can put in drop caps, which start to make it look like a bit more like a real document, like a real newspaper or something similar. You can also do things with the text box where you can change uh, all sorts of properties, like you can uh, put a shadow effect on the text, you can um, actually right click on the text box here and you can have a look at the things we can do here so we can hyperlink it through we can format the text box and we can do things like set the fill for the text box so let's have a nice orange color like that but we'll make it partly transparent okay there we are so you can see, you can quite quickly start to make things like titles. And we can also change the margins of our text box and this kind of thing if we like. And of course, there's the usual thing about centering. Right. The next thing we can do is we can put in a picture. Now, you can just copy and paste pictures in. I'm going to press the picture button here and choose this charming picture of myself. And again, we can resize it, we can rotate it, and we can move it around so that we then get the text adjusting to flow around the picture. I can do all sorts of things with the picture in terms of recolouring it. And so, for example, I can say set transparent colour and then when I move the picture around you'll see that the background is now transparent so I can put myself up like this and it now looks like I'm on top of the picture. 